What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we have some good news for the jailbreak community, especially for those of you on 14.7 and lower on all devices. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly to your phone from your computer. You can also manage the photos, music, videos and apps in one single application. Check it out in the links below. So just a couple of hours ago Justin Shearman posted quote, this semester I decided to do an independent study which is a semester long project that counts for credits like a class would. My project is a kernel exploit for CVE 2021-30807 plus a write-up. I just finished the exploit and popped 14.6 and 14.7 on my phones. Write up ATA soon. And they posted a couple of pictures showing basically a connection via SSH and the exploit running on their devices and apparently succeeding to get root. So this seems to be interesting. It seems to work on 14.7, 14.6 and lower. And this has made some headlines on iDownload blog and so on. But there are some issues with it. But first, can this be used for jailbreak purposes? The answer is yes, it can. However, there are drawbacks as always. So the first drawback is that you need a special entitlement in order to be able to basically get code execution with this in here. So you need a special entitlement, which only WebKit has. Now this has been discussed by Xeros Design here, one of the developers in our community. So they said, quote, so cool, does your exploit still require injection into web content or is it usable as it is? Talking in terms of this being used for a public jailbreak. And they have replied with this, quote, yeah, it still needs the entitlement to access the vulnerable code path. But then Xeros Design says in here, quote, ah, I see, still super cool. Your exploit could still be very useful for jailbreaking 14.6 and 14.7, semi-untethered, when Linus Hansi drops the untethered project in a few days. And for those of you who do not remember, Linus Hansi has demonstrated an untethered jailbreak a couple of weeks ago, and they said that they're going to open source this on October 21. That's basically in a couple of days. So we're going to get a massive exploit from here that we can definitely use for jailbreak purposes and we can chain with other things. With this we might even be able to get Torin or Uncover as untethered, which means no read jailbreaks, no signing, no re-signing and stuff like that, no expiration, you just jailbreak once and your device keeps re-jailbreaking itself every time you reboot it with no user intervention. That kind of an exploit is actually pretty rare nowadays, but this one is going to work only on iOS 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4.2, 14.4.1, 14.4 and according to Linus Hansi, some betas of 14.6 will also be supported, but the final version will not, so only the early betas. It has been patched after that. So this in combination with the exploit by Justin Shearman can actually yield a proper jailbreak. However, they mentioned in here that there are some drawbacks to that as well. The fact that we would have to fine tune for each device because this was more intended for research than a public jailbreak. From my understanding, they mean that the exploit requires specific offsets for specific devices or different combinations of devices, but that's fine. We did that for most of the exploits we had. You need to find the offsets for each device or create an offset finder that would do that for you. So that's not really a problem for the jailbreak community. And at the end, of course, Zero says, quote, understandable, it seems like this might still be the best we've got since the newer IOMFB bug is apparently problematic to exploit on A14 and A15. For those of you unaware, the A15 and A14 are basically the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12. The previous exploit we discussed in another video has problems being exploited on those devices, while this one by Justin Shearman would not. So yeah, even though this requires some offsets and some maneuvers to be made in order to use it for a jailbreak, it's still usable, it's still something good and it's still valuable for the jailbreak community and I'm glad that they will be releasing this kernel exploit because it's still better than nothing. So once released, this would actually target all devices including the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 mini, 12, 12 Pro, SE 2020, 20, 11 and so on, so not only older devices, which is great, especially for the iOS 14.6 beta and 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4 and so on. Now for the rest of the devices, this would work up to 14.7 and we might be able to use it there, but it needs chaining, so I'm gonna keep you posted on that. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.